Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Crystal Palace, and they take on Norwich City. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, Wilfried Zaha, often described as a bit of a one-off, a real talent, and no two ways about that, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Thanks. Have a good game. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Good luck. Game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Right. Good game. Good game. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And here's the Norwich City starting 11. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. If they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the full-backs can push on. Let's hope they do that today. And the match begins. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Really fine initial touch and a fine cross. And well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Mitchell. Kuyase. Wilfried Zaha turning inside. Where's he going to go? And return to Zaha. Kuyase now. And there to intervene. Long way out. Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. Well, the referee let it go initially, but now he goes back and cautions him, Stuart. Yeah, it's a good bit of refereeing. He tried to let the play continue and then he came back for the booking. <laughs> Matthias Norman. It's Rashica on the ball. Brandon Williams Rashica Norman and a good looking ball well can they open up the defence here Rashica using all his defensive acumen to cut it out Wilfried Zaha. Now Christian Benteke. Kuyate. And Zaha has it. Going well. Benteke. Kuyate now. MacArthur. Are you? The high press was on, and the chance is on. Could be! That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. McLean. 
Buki. And attempting the through ball. In it goes! The opening goal in this contest. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Mitchell, Kuyate. And he read it well, intercepting it. Well, Norwich haven't seen enough of the ball, as those stats will tell us. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And it's a quality pass. Aaron's. Decent position. Norman. Couldn't keep it. And the counter looks on here. Options available. There will be one minute added on at the end. Mitchell. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So, the ball rolling again. Palace trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second? Wilfried Zaha. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? McLean. Timo Puki. Josh Sargent. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Not looking confident in possession. Benteke. And Palace moving the ball with purpose. And will it be the leveller? Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Benteke. Are you? MacArthur. Oh, he's given the ball away. McLean. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile.
substitution for Crystal Palace. And the substitution will occur now. MacArthur, Connor Gallagher. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Mitchell, MacArthur. Fluency of movement. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Twenty minutes to go in this one. I'm showing good defensive judgment. This looks threatening. Kuyate. MacArthur. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. McLean. Norman. Grant Hanley with it. Ten minutes left for play. Ben Gibson. McLean. Matthias Norman. Puki. Norman. How well, can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? Matthias Norman. And a fine cross. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. the clearance that was called for time is not on the side this corner could help their prospects as they look for an equaliser well, they are committed to making the substitution here Playing it in, but fisted away by the goalkeeper. Growing pressure here, and another corner. Let's see about the delivery. And cleared away. And into an attacking position, it's not too late for them. And full time here, and the story is one of job done by Crystal Palace. What did you think of it?
Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Well, Wilfred Zaha can be a real handful for defenders, and he was at times today. How would you sum up his performance? Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.